Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Blight League. In this episode, I farmed 100 Alva missions, uh, tons of her temples, including Tier 3 Corruption Altars, and some Tier 3 Corruption Altar for Gems. I uh, hope you enjoy this episode, and I uh, hope you like the result. <laughs> it's another good one. Okay, so this is the first time I've ever done this. This is a Tier 3 Corruption Altar. Uh, basically, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna rip this thing, yeah. Uh, here it goes, say poof, uh, she take out all the gems, and then tier 3 corruption altar to modify this unpredictably twice. Here we go. Poof. So after I ripped the first, uh, mall that I had, I didn't have a new mall, and I didn't have the currency just to craft one up right away, so I ended up using this level 31 mall that I have with, uh, enemies killed exploded, dealing 5% of their life as fire damage. Was super, super good fit for the build, obviously. Uh, we were able to just clear out the rest for the whole time using this, and then, uh, I found, uh, right after this, I found a tier 3 <clears throat> gem corruption, so I got to try that out. Hope you enjoy. So I've never done one of these. This is um, a tier 3 gem place. So you can corrupt a skill or support gem, modifying it unpredictably twice. This is tier 3. So we can use use this thing on a multi-strike and go for 21-23. Well, that was disappointing. Here we go again. Uh, so tier 3 corruption gem altery thing, multi-strike 2020. Boom! 2023. Not bad. The multi-strike 2023 is worth 80 chaos at time of recording. Augie the meme! That lag. Okay, now regal the meme. Whoa! Wait a minute! Wait. What suffix do I lose? <laughs> Wait. Dude, I think I keep that. I think I keep it. Because not having to. Oh my god. Oh shit, we did this in like 600 and some 600 and like 50. Yep, 649. <laughs> All right, second corruption altar. So we have our pr just made uh mall. This one has the 26 strength instead of the 25% attack and cast speed. Uh let's let's double corrupt it and see what happens. Oh, fuck. Well, that's what's super funny. Okay, here it is. Let's uh, sacrifice this eye level 40 Worms Molt Leather Belt at the Altar of Sacrifice Tier 3. Transforms unique items, blah, blah, blah. Same item class, random, unique. Here we go. Studded belt instead of a leather belt. Interesting. For the third mall, I bought one off trade from the guy who everyone thought was price fixing for 7x. He's he's not actually price fixing, he just crafted a lot of them because he likes crafting. Wow. Easy fucking clap. Uh 680 or so fusing, 670, 680, something like that. Okay, now we craft on all this stuff and go take it in. Let's see how high of a minion damage roll I can get. 78? Dude, every roll is so high every time. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, I need to roll the triple blue as well again. Holy shit, first try again. Okay, we're ready to go gamble. 
Or is it ah here? So Okay. This is the one. This is the fucking one. What's up, corruption altar? Here we go. So double corrupt on this beautiful Holy shit! It worked! Yes! Yes! The third try! Onslaught oh, and physical damage 12%! Oh my god! I have a fucking broken weapon now! How good is this, I wonder? How good is it in POB? I can literally punch this into my- I'm gonna- I'll come back with it in a second. Alright, so the math is about 20k more damage from the increased physical damage. That's amazing, because it's local and it applies to the zombies. Wow, that's so broken. Okay, then the next thing is the Onslaught level 10 basically gives it- gives all your zombies the uh, a 34 percent chance to get onslaught on kill and so it makes this node now completely um like we don't need it at all so we we won't tech over here at all yeah uh this changes quite a bit actually wow this is really powerful this is a lot of save stuff wow this is holy moly 34 percent chance to gain onslaught on the zombies for free oh my god it's so good. <laughs> so I'm going to add in here my efficient way of training or getting the Alva mission. So if you have your mission saved up, I was using my white, yellows, and red missions. I ran them on white maps just to run through the map as fast as possible. Pouting, I used Quicksilver Flask with Silver Flask for the Onslaught. I, have a, I had a Headhunter for the extra move speed buffs I'd get from the mobs. I put on my 35% move speed boots instead of using the 20% move speed Alberon's Warpath, if you're wondering. the uh, That's the only reason I made the switch. The other thing is... Uh, when I was actually doing them, so if I found in the map the first encounter was the corruption chamber and I upgraded it, then you cannot get the corruption chamber again on the same map. So therefore I started a new map, but you will find that the second spot on the old other map will actually be the start of your first map of the new map. Uh it, it like so the you can't actually start a new map to get a new like next spot it's just that then the last spot will be saved from being this corruption chamber so you you get one extra roll then also if you check your last spot and you know it's not the corruption chamber you can stop that you can skip it and start the next map with it so that the next map doesn't have that one you're eliminating one of the four, 15 options so technically it's slightly better if you want to nitpick that you can if you want to make the most out of your alvo missions i would complete it though and just start another map and get through all the incursions and get tons of temples and just do temple thing so then uh once you've ran through all your missions I then recommend uh, doing quarry. Quarry is a great spot for Alva. Just run around, get your Alva, collect it up, and farm it. So the other helpful tip that I couldn't remember in it was that uh, you should upgrade. Always try to upgrade the uh, each room when you get a chance. that it, When it isn't a corruption chamber, you should upgrade because... When you upgrade uh, to tier 3 of a room, you can no longer get that room in the other, uh, when it, when you find your next location. So, you'll be more likely to hit the corruption because there's only 15. So, as you upgrade them to tier 3s, you're eliminating more options of rooms that you can roll and therefore making the corruption chamber even more likely. All these things are very helpful when you're trying to target farm corruption. Bonus clip! Uh, I recorded two tier 15 times three silver oil maps uh, with 35% quality. Uh, this is it. If you're curious, I'm now selling it for one and a half X. But basically, uh, if you're interested in trying it, <laughs> I'll show you what, uh, what loot I got from those two maps. And I even have an opinion in the second one about its comparison between this one, three silver, and three gold.
Real recording. Let's uh let's get rich. Frigid metallic. Pristine metallic. Six socket. Loot. Money. More money. Even more money. More money. More. More. Oils. And more oils. A black oil. We have opalescent silver. What the? Okay. Items. Uh, we have down here prophecies. Here we have oils, opalescent, crimson. Deafening, remnant, oils, black oil, one more oil spot. Okay, this is another, uh, analyzing another lucky map. What the fuck? That's not normal. Dark forest. That's a dark forest drop. Holy shit. Wait, the drop matters. <laughs> Loot explosion got that. Okay. So there's a lot of currency. Like a lot of real spots. And not a million. Oh, we got a Kadiro. Fusing. One weapon spot here. Okay. Stag dicks. We got oil. Oh my god, wait. Dude. Black oil, crimson, teals, wait. Wait, is this consistent money? Is this better than the golden? Because 15. That's pretty cool. Jewelers touch again. Okay. We had two oil spots. That's not even more than normal. Wait, this is worse, dude. This has to be worse. Because you're giving up triple golden for not even that much better spots. Lucky chests suck. Like, legit. This is the same chest we could get with fucking a golden, but they drop more. So yeah, thanks for watching this episode. We now have our awesome new mall to show off. You know, PoE ninja people are going to freak out when they see this on the stats thing. They're like, I can't do that deep delving without that mall. And it's going to be hilarious. The next thing i uh, like to share, just in case it wasn't clear enough for people. So the difference that I say... The way blight, uh, lucky chests work in this uh, blight map it, or the blight maps is on, at my worst out of the like 50 golden maps that I ran, uh, the lowest amount of like bad chest in a good map uh, I had was like five. So like with super high RNG, I had 15 really insane good chests and only five bad ones. And so in, in that like optimum condition one of these silver oils gives you five lucky chests so maybe that fixes the problem and gives you a god tier map every time so maybe it's uh, one silver two golden but i would never go over one silver and i would never go over the like you know how you have two teal uh three teal to get six lucky yeah i think that if you do crimson you shouldn't do all crimson it should be a combination of crimson and black or something uh or there's literally, like, almost no reason to go crimson over teal, basically, is the other point. Teal's really fucking OP, and past that is stupid. So golden maps are OP as shit, obviously. Because you don't even need lucky chests, as I proved. Look how, how, like, unsatisfying those were. I don't know. 
Uh, anyways, uh, super successful day. Um, we're not done yet. We have more upgrading to do, more insane upgrades we can do like this uh, that aren't going to be very hard to do. And then we'll go back to the delving with some insane upgrades to show off. So if you guys learn anything new today, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. While you guys are at it, hit that little bell to receive a little extra piece of notification. If you guys uh, like this, then hit the like button. Follow the Twitter. Follow, uh, Join the Discord if you want more notifications. And uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters, Patreon and YouTube members who financially support the channel. Um, I appreciate it a lot, and I couldn't do this without them. I appreciate the financial support a lot. So thank you to my Patreon supporters, White Wolf, Trodnix, Steven, and my YouTube members, Garbar, Trodnix, White Wolf, Farkbone, Kerbe, John, and Lelouch, Lime, Peru. Somebody's getting upset about the saying that name at the end of every video, but I have to for... Um, how, how I'm how I'm doing this so uh, thank you guys for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next video bye